Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche Design. In this video, you're going to learn how to remove a sweat stain using frequency separation in Adobe Photoshop. Let's start by duplicating the background layer twice. Rename the first copy to low frequency and the second copy to high frequency. With the low frequency layer selected, click on filter and choose Gaussian blur from the blur dropdown. Drag the radius slider to the right until you stop seeing the texture on the shirt. For this image, I'm going to choose a value of 22 pixels. With the high frequency layer selected, click on image and choose apply image. Make sure low frequency layer is selected in the layer dropdown. Blending mode is set to subtract, scale is 2 and offset is 50% gray, which is 128 on the tonal scale. Change the blending mode of this layer to linear light since it ignores 50% gray. Now you shouldn't see any difference between the background image and the combination of the low and high frequency layers. Next, create a new group and rename it to frequency separation. Move the low and high frequency layers inside this new group and duplicate them one by one. Hold the Alt or Option key and click below the copy layers to clip them to the original layers. Make sure the blending mode of the copy layers is set to normal. This will prevent us from destructing the original frequency layers. With the low frequency copy layer selected, choose the mixer brush from the tools panel. Make sure load the brush is unchecked, clean the brush is checked, and 20% is set for wet and load, 10% is set for mix and flow. Start painting on the stain outside in to lighten it a bit. Feel free to make multiple passes and keep going until you're happy with the results. Click on the high frequency copy layer and choose the spot healing brush from the tools panel. Now slowly paint over the edge of the stain to blend it in with the rest of the shirt. Now you can repeat this process and keep going back and forth between the high and low frequency copy layers. Note if the stain edge is too dark, you can try flipping the blending mode of the spot healing brush to lighten instead of normal to see if you get better results. Next, select the high copy layer one more time and choose the lasso tool from the tools panel. Create a lasso selection around the stain and then click on filter in the top menu. Choose Gaussian blur from the blur dropdown. Apply a small amount of radius of around 2 pixels and then click OK. This should help us blend in any of the remaining imperfections with the rest of the shirt. Notice there's a halo around the model's shirt. This was likely caused by the mixer brush. To get rid of it, click on the background layer and then choose the quick selection tool from the tools panel. Now hit select subject. With the frequency separation group selected, click on the add layer mask button. This will ensure that our frequency separation changes were restricted to just the model. Now hold the command option shift and press E to create a stamped copy of all visible layers. From the new adjustment layer menu, choose curves. Rename this layer to dodge and bring the curves line up a bit to your liking. Use the control or command I shortcut to invert the curves layer mask. Let's bring one more curves adjustment layer and rename it to burn. Bring the curves line down a bit and use the control or command I shortcut to invert the layer mask. With the layer mask selected for the dodge layer, make sure the foreground color is set to white. Use the brush tool from the tools panel with the flow value set to 5%. Slowly paint over the areas of the shirt that you would like to lighten. Now switch to the burn layer mask and paint over the areas that you would like to darken. Use the opacity slider to control the intensity of the dodging and burning layers. Finally, let's look at the before and after images. Looks good to me. Make sure you like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.